Hey guys, Brian Fleming from buildingsocialproof.com. This week we are going to talk about Facebook ad prices and costs. Just how much do you should you be spending on Facebook and what do the ad costs really mean? So in this video, I'm going to break it down and show you how it all works so you know. Okay guys, we are going to get talking about Facebook ad costs, so let's get started. The first thing you're probably wondering about Facebook with the ad costs is just how the whole thing works. Well, Facebook basically has two flavors of how they bill you for ads. There's a model called CPM and CPC. And I'm going to tell you what those are right now. So CPM is cost per thousand impressions. It means just that. What do you have to pay just to get your ad in front of a thousand people? Now, that's just showing your ad. It doesn't, it doesn't mean if they shared it. It doesn't mean if they clicked on it. It doesn't mean if they like it. That's just to put your ad in front of a thousand people. Now, some people know if they have a really good audience of a thousand people, and maybe that audience costs $10 to reach, let's just say, and they can get a lot of clicks and a lot of shares, it's really advantageous to do cost per thousand impressions because you have an ad with high engagement. The other way to do it is cost per click. And if you've used other platforms like Google um, or Yahoo or Twitter, they run on a cost per click model, meaning I would tell Google I'm willing to pay a dollar a click and Google will run and they'll show my ads to maybe a thousand or 10,000 or a hundred thousand people. And I don't pay for any of those ads. I only pay when someone clicks on an ad. And Facebook has that model too, but Facebook's is a little bit different. With Facebooks, you don't get to say, I only want to spend a dollar a click. You just say, I want to do a CPC model. Now, if they show your ad to a thousand people and nobody clicks on it, unlike Google, they are still going to bill you and it is going to drive you crazy at first. They are, are going to bill you just to show your ad. They are going to bill you a nickel or a dime when someone likes your ad. You can't even turn that off. So if someone likes your ad, you get billed for it. If they share your ad, you get billed for it. If they click on your ad, you get billed for it. Anytime they touch your ad, you get billed for it. So my advice to you is to forget all that and I want you to focus on their cost per conversion model. It's a selection when you start your campaign. You can do different kinds of campaigns. Look for the one that says cost per conversion and here's why. When you have a cost per conversion, you have a strategy. You actually know what you want to get out of Facebook and you're telling Facebook when they've done a good job and they've made a conversion for you. Now, what could a conversion be? A conversion could be a sale, which means you're direct selling on Facebook. And I do not recommend you do that because it flat out won't work for you. People do not buy things on Facebook. They're there to meet their friends. They're not there to shop. Another conversion could be a lead. And that's what I recommend you do. I recommend you focus on getting email leads off Facebook. And then when you got them on email, then work on selling them. It's a great strategy. But my advice really is that you need to have a plan going into this. If you just boost posts and you just do pay per click and pay per impressions, you're probably going to get frustrated and Facebook will happily take your money. Now, let's look at how much it costs to just start running ads. I know that's a question a lot of people have. Well, the good news is the minimum spend is only a dollar a day. Everybody listening to this video and watching this video for a dollar a day, you can get started with Facebook. So everybody listening can do this, but really you can spend as little or as much as you want with Facebook ads. Now, my advice is to start slowly with a $5 a day budget with a campaign. $5 a day is a good number because it'll get you enough impressions and clicks and that sort of thing to know if the campaign's working. With a dollar a day, it's it's just not enough. Um, you, you could do $10 a day too if you wanted. But what I think you should do is run three or four different campaigns with different audiences, different ads, and see what works. One of the campaigns is going to outperform the others. So just cut the losers fast and run with the good campaign and then dial it up. Now, you probably want to know how to get cheap ads. That's what everybody wants to know with Facebook. Well, there's basically two things that determine your ad prices. The first one is ads with more engagement are cheaper to run. So if your ad gets a lot of likes, shares, clicks, that sort of thing, Facebook's going to reward you by giving you a lower ad rate. Ads with an underserved audience are also cheaper to run. So what do I mean by an underserved audience? Well, 
If you're targeting the same people that all the other advertisers are targeting, you are in an auction system and it'll go to the highest bidder. The one with the highest budget and most engagement is going to get the majority of, of that ad spend. But if you're going after an audience that nobody else is running ads to, then you tend to get a lot lower uh, ad costs. So the, the downside with that one is you don't really know. You don't know if your audience is under or over served but it will show up in your ad reports because you'll get cheaper ads. So enough of this, let's look at some real examples of campaigns I have run, and I'm gonna show you kind of how the ad costs work out so you can get a feel for what you should be spending with Facebook ads. I'll be back in just a second. Okay guys, I'm back. I wanted to show you a campaign I got done running recently just to give you a feel for how the ad costs work and what you're gonna be looking at so let's run through these real quick so this campaign ran and it had 88,000 impressions so my ads were shown to 88,000 people now the unique click-through rate the number of clicks it generated was 2.5 percent which basically means one out of 50 people who saw this ad clicked on it and that is stellar I have to tell you now I spent seven hundred and sixty eight dollars on this campaign and my cost to reach a thousand people uh, is eight dollars and seventy three cents so when I talked earlier about that that CPM model that's where this is showing up so when you look at these numbers uh, a good rule of thumb with Facebook is just figure in general it's gonna cost you around ten dollars to reach a thousand people now I got one thousand one hundred and sixty one clicks to my website which an average website cost per click of sixty six cents that's really not that bad but you know what I don't even care about that number what I care about is these next two lead conversions I got 558 people to sign up for my email list for seven hundred and sixty eight dollars so I got a lead an email subscriber for a dollar thirty eight a piece when I told you earlier you need to have a goal with Facebook this is what I'm talking about if I only cared about getting 1,161 clicks to my website, like, so what? Those people might have left. They might not have done anything, and I wasted $768 just to get clicks to my website. But you know what? I was very focused and very purposeful in what I was doing. So I had a goal set up, and it's important to set up a goal so Facebook knows what you're trying to do, and they will actually work with you automatically and, and find people who are who are likely to also convert and help drive those costs down. Very, very, very important. So I care about uh, lead how many leads I got and what I paid for my leads. Now there is one other number you should pay attention to and that is your ad relevance score. Your ad relevance score works on a scale of zero to 10. Anything above a seven is pretty darn good. If your ad relevance score is sitting around a five, a six, or a four, it's not connecting with your audience and you are paying a surcharge for people just to see your ad. This uh, CPM number is starting to take over because people are not interacting with your ad enough. Facebook can tell by this ad relevance score. So you want to watch your ad relevance score. You want to make sure that's seven or higher. It probably won't be at first. You're going to have to play around with it un until it is. And then you're just going to want to look at cost per conversion and the number of conversions. That's it. And as I go down, I think it's pretty obvious to see what you would do next. So on this ad, you know, I got 23 people to sign up for 48 cents an email. And as you go down, you see the other ads just didn't perform as well. It keeps getting more expensive. Here's one where I got 57 people for $1.54. So what would you do? Well, you would take these ads that don't perform as well and you would turn them off and you would run with the ads that are performing the best that get you the lowest cost. So that's pretty much how it works, guys. Um, there's not a lot to it. What you really need to do is just get around and start playing with it. Now, if you're just getting started with Facebook and you want to know how to grow your business with it quickly, I do run a webinar where I show you how to do all this. And I will put a link in the bottom of the video so you can check out a webinar time and get up to speed on Facebook really fast to get quick results with it. My name is Brian Fleming from buildingsocialproof.com and I will talk to you again soon. Take care. Bye-bye.